as a New York Times bestseller. Let's give a warm welcome to Isaac Litsky. Our lives are full of fish swimming backward. Uh, we make assumptions and faulty leaps of logic. We harbor biases. Uh, we know that we're right and they're wrong. We fear the worst. Uh, we strive for unattainable perfection. We tell ourselves what we cannot do. Were you surprised to have learned that I'm blind? And have you made any uh, assumptions about me or the quality of my life on the basis of that single attribute? If so, it's okay. I mean, we make assumptions about so-called disabilities. We're wired to do it. As a blind man, I confront others' assumptions about my abilities every day. My point this morning is not about my blindness, however. Uh, I'm here to talk about my vision. You see, going blind taught me how to live my life eyes wide open. Eyes wide open is about uh, taking control of the reality you're creating for yourself, choosing who you want to be and how you want to live your life, right? Holding yourself accountable for those choices. So I'd like to simplify matters and focus on just one aspect of this all, which is uh, fear. Fear <clears throat> is a powerfully destructive force in our lives. Fear distorts reality. When you face uh, a need to look beyond yourself, right, to gain information, to make progress, fear beats a retreat deep inside your mind, shrinking and distorting your view, drowning your capacity for critical thought, with a flood of disruptive emotions. Uh, when you face a compelling opportunity to, uh, to take action, right, to transcend, fear lulls you into inaction, enticing you to passively watch its prophecies fulfill themselves. So how did I feel in my mom's car that day? I was terrified. Uh, what was I thinking? Well, uh, I was thinking that blindness would ruin my life. It's not entirely accurate. I didn't think blindness would ruin my life. <clears throat> I knew it. Now those were uh, extremely dark years in my life. They were painful years. Uh, then I learned to see through my fear, eyes wide open. Uh, and that uh, began with my mother-in-law, Brenda, if you can believe it. Uh, an unlikely heroine in any story, right? The mother-in-law. <laughs> Everything I thought I knew about going blind or being blind was fiction, born of my fears. What did I really know about going blind or being blind? Nothing. What had I done to learn about going blind or being blind? Nothing. In a sense, I was choosing to live in that awful world of my fears. I refused to be afraid, and only then did I see that there was absolutely nothing to be afraid of, right? I, uh, I took control of my reality. I chose who I wanted to be. I chose how I wanted to live my life. If I had not confronted the awful reality of my fear, eyes wide open, I would have lived that reality. 